Meanwhile, three of the four suspects who were wanted in connection with the massacre were nabbed in Port Shopston with another arrested in the Eastern Cape. An SABC News reporter, Nontlagane Pomakwaza, spent the best part of today in Port Shepston on the KwaZulu Natal's south coast and joins us live now for more. Nontlagane, good afternoon to you and thank you so much for your time. Let's talk about this Mukolombe informal settlement uh, where the suspects were nabbed. Good afternoon, Mungi. We answer the viewers at home. Yes, we did go to Umkolombe. It's in uh, the KZN South Coast. It's uh, a, a, an informal settlement, mostly informal settlement with RDP houses. Uh, we went there and spoke to the community members who are very shocked that uh, the three suspects were living amongst them. Some of them did not know uh, the suspects, but some of them said that uh, they've seen the suspects um, numerous times, uh, with the most recent one being this weekend at a place called a Celsius where it's a more of an entertainment area where people or locals go there to entertain themselves. Apparently they went there to watch the soccer match and a soccer match uh, this weekend uh, and it was only after police publicized their photos that uh, some community members could recognize that oh this is someone is so and so and this is so and so uh, uh, we've seen them around and it's probably how the police got uh, intel on uh, where the suspects were we did manage to find uh, where exactly the suspects were hiding it's apparently a, a rented uh, place there it's an RDP house with some cottages surrounding that area where the suspects were renting out the place apparently the uh, landlord does not live uh, in that area. She just rented out the place to the suspects and it was the neighbors or one of the neighbors, uh, we're not sure, uh, who tipped off the police. Uh, when we spoke to one of the neighbors who uh, his house is uh, just up uh, above uh, these uh, rental accommodations, he was very shocked that um, these suspects were living just below his house. Uh, a, a lady we also spoke to said that uh, he, she saw uh, numerous police vans uh, in the area in the early hours of the morning uh, this morning and uh, she was very confused as to why the police were there and she thought it was probably drug related. It was only after she listened to the news and uh, it was said that the three suspects were arrested at Mkolombe that she could connect the dots that uh, the suspects that was, she saw being ushered into the police vans were actually the suspects wanted for the Lucy Sigi murders uh, two weeks ago. And uh, when we spoke to the CPF as well uh, in the area, they said that uh, going forward, because uh, Mkolombe is a very very dense, uh, densely populated uh, area full of informal settlements where uh, people mostly from the Eastern Cape, uh, that's what they said, that from the Eastern Cape, Lusigi, Sigi, Harding and all those other areas uh, are living there and they are renting out those places because that's closer to work and some of them are coming uh, to KZN to look for work and it's not only Eastern Cape but uh, people from other areas uh, here around KZN also go there looking for job opportunities and it's closer to uh, factories and firms in that area. And uh, they did say that um, they tried to minimize uh, people from building more informal settlement because they could see that it is becoming more and more dense in that area. And they said that going forward, they will ask people who are renting out these informal settlements uh, to uh, do a thorough check uh, of uh, people who are renting out these places. Another community member who didn't want to uh, be named or who wanted to be anonymous basically said uh, revealed that um, the suspects the 45, 45 year old suspects who appeared yesterday at the Eastern Cape uh, magistrate courts or uh, was also seen around in that area uh, probably a couple of months ago uh, or before the incident and they are concerned that their area is now becoming a a, a hideout for, for, for criminals because anyone uh, can hide out in that area and not be found because uh, the shacks are very closely knit together and uh, people are renting out these spaces to people they don't know and they are not familiar with uh, in that area. Back to you in studio, Bongiwe. Nontlaganipo, certainly a community that appears to have been shaken um, by this latest development and even hearing from the police minister that this seems to have been coordinated from prison. So certainly a lot of interest in this particular story. Thank you so much for wrapping the day for us. Appreciate it. That was SABC News reporter Nontlaganipo Makwasa.